Shalom, shalom. Welcome to another episode of You Are Not Wife Material. Man, in these episodes, these are simply case studies of how many women there are out there that are desperately desiring a good man, but a man won't come within 10 feet of them with the opportunity of marriage. You know, the Bible talks about those that uh, choose to live a lie, the Most High will send them a strong delusion because they love not the truth. And this is truly something that the older women need to understand and hear. It is your job, it is your assignment as an older woman to impart knowledge and wisdom and educate for righteousness sake the younger women. But this is the painful truth about the women out here that uh, have all these high expectations, uh, you know, for a man and they themselves are of no value. Now, if you are a man and you're watching this, you know, let me know down in the comments without being disrespectful. You know, how many of you are looking for a, uh, a woman or a wife like this? Let me know with a simple, I'm not, I wouldn't marry her or uh, I would marry her. And this is serving as a case study, you know, and this years from now will serve as a case study. And women can see in the comments that if they got that same mindset, they'll understand the importance of repentance. Repentance, turning from, you know, your former ways of ignorance, turning from your former, you know, life that did not bear fruit. And even still, man, a lot of these women are hoping and praying, but simply, they're too far gone. Roll that footage. Wasn't you just on Instagram? Yeah, but I wanted to do it again because okay, I'm yeah, new on here. Not, you wasn't ready. You was high. You still high those spaz, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. No, I I ain't really had no more. I'm I'm good. I just oh, I ain't never the, I ain't never been on. I watch you and shit, but you know. Are you on the leather part of being mm -hmm. high where it comes down a little bit? Oh uh, no, I'm in a chair. No, I'm saying when you called me on Instagram, you said you had smoked weed. So are you on the part when it comes down a little bit? Uh, yeah, I guess. Right. After this, I'm gonna have to smoke again. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, just FYI, we had a lady on Instagram who was interested in men, and at the very yeah. end said she's open-minded for women because when she watches women, this is what, okay, I want to be clear. What I'm saying is what the lady said. When she watches okay. women porn, she gets turned on, so therefore she's open to women. Spaz called in right after her and said, call me, girl. I'm ready for you. So now Spaz is ready to just do the full conversation for yourself, correct? Yeah. All right, so Spaz, where are you calling us from? Where do you live? Uh, Minnesota. Minnesota, how old are you? I'm 31. And what I'm do you do for a living? I'm a content creator. Content creator. Do you have any kids? Yeah, I got two. How old are your two kids? 10 and 11. 10 and 11. Um, both by the same man? Uh, no. Okay. Spaz, are you bisexual? <laughs> Who is that? My stupid friend. <laughs> okay. Well, Spaz, I know you like women, so are you bisexual? Hell no, I ain't bisexual. I don't do dicks at all. None at all. None, none, none. Okay, that's fair, but you have two kids, Bass. Yeah, I was raped with the first one and the second one. Her daddy, like, 63 years old. So I was trying to try to date a man. But, yeah, no, nah, I ain't never actually been in a relationship with a man or nothing like that. 